the time is yours and uh, please uh, introduce your student athletes and you, the time is yours to, uh, to make your presentation. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, I appreciate you guys being here today, the media, um, and uh, we're excited. Um, I'm joined today uh, by two of our captains, uh, our running back, Landers Smith, and our, our middle linebacker, uh, Cole Wyatt, uh, two, two seniors, uh, two guys that, uh, two of the best young men that I've ever coached uh, as far as the type of people they are. They're both returning all-conference players, uh, but more importantly, great leaders, uh, guys that are 3.9, 4.0 students in the classroom and some of the best players uh, in the conference. Um, but excited to have them here today. Um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm really humbled to be a part of this conference, a part of this group of coaches and, and players. There's some great people in this conference that uh, I think, you know, in my opinion, it's the best conference uh, in, in the nation. And, and the, I think every year uh, the, the, the football playing schools and the records uh, speak for themselves and the success that we have uh, in this conference. Um, you know, I'm extremely proud to coach in this conference. It's been a big part of my life uh, since I've been a little kid. My grandfather and my dad both were head coaches in this conference. Um, so it's something that uh, I take extreme pride in. Um, and, and extremely proud to, to be the head coach here at Montana Tech. I'm proud to represent uh, Montana Tech, our university, um, and our Ordigger family today, and really proud to represent uh, the great community uh, of Butte, America. Uh, I want to thank, uh, you know, start out by thanking our chancellor, Dr. Cook, um, you know, and our athletic director, Mr. Stepp, and, uh, you know, my, my two direct bosses, uh, you know, can't thank them for all they do. Uh, everybody out there knows if you're going to be successful in any business or organization, it's got to start at the top. And uh, we've got tremendous leadership um, and uh, it, it's great to go to work with a bunch of people you care about and they care about you. And, uh, you know, we're uh, we want to say, say a huge thank you to Dr. Cook. Uh, you know, he just announced he's going to be retiring at the end of this year. Uh, he's been a great, a great asset to our uh, program, uh, to our campus community. And, and we're going to be sad to see him go, but wish him uh, the absolute best of luck. Uh, you know, our athletic director, Mr. Steppen, does a tremendous job. The success of our programs all across the board at Tech. Uh, direct reflection of him and pretty cool for us to to have a guy that was a former Ortega football player uh, leading leading our athletic department he does a tremendous job and, and one of my best friends um, you know I'm very fortunate to work here at Tech it's a great place but it's a great place because of the great people uh, I think anywhere you go you can be successful if, if you get to work with great people uh, we've got a tremendous administration that, that really does a great job of leading us um, you know, and I, I do want to say a big thanks uh, to our commissioner, uh, Scott Crawford, for, for everything he's doing for our for our conference. Um, and a really big thanks to the media for taking time um, out of your day to, to represent our conference. I think it's a great a great thing that we're doing here uh, with the media day and, uh, you know, anything we can do to promote our conference, I think is an awesome thing. Um, I want to say a huge thanks to our staff um, and their families um, for all that they do for our program every day. Uh, as coaches, you know, we spend a, a decent amount of time away from our wives and our kids. And I want to say a big thanks to, to the, the families of my coaches for what they do and supporting, uh, you know, the assistant coaches that I have every single day. Uh, we've got a special staff here at Tech. I've been very fortunate since I've been the head coach to, to have a lot of consistency within our staff. Um, and that's a big deal. If our players are consistently being coached by, uh, you know, almost the same guys each year, uh, that's a great way to build a program. Um, you know, guys that, that care a lot about the game, they're proud of Montana Tech, but became some of my great friends. Um, you know, and to me, the best thing about coaching is building relationships. And, and when you get to go to work every day with a bunch of guys that you consider your best friends, uh, that makes it pretty fun. You get to work hard together, uh, but we have a good time off the field as well. Um, you know, and it's fun for me as the head coach. Uh, our wives have became really close friends uh, to have our kids at practice, all the little kids running around. Um, you know, that, that's what it's all about is, is the family atmosphere here at Tech, and, and I'm very proud of that. Um, you know, our staff is very close-knit. I've got a, a bunch of assistant coaches that are extremely loyal. Um, they love coming to work every day, um, and the success that, that we've been able to have and continue to have, hopefully, uh, is a direct reflection of them. Um, and, I, and I'm lucky as heck to work with those guys every single day. Um, I think they do a tremendous job instilling confidence in our players. Uh, they're great teachers, um, and they care about the right things. They care about relationships. Um, you know, and really being there for our players on and off the field. Um, I think that's that's really a, a huge trait of a great coach, uh, which I've got a bunch of on my staff is guys that truly care about people. I think X's and O's are a dime a dozen. Um, but if you if you really care about people and show them that you care, I think that's uh, that's what kids want. And that's what they want to be a part of. Um, you know, my assistant coaches, I, I've got I've got seven uh, guys. So uh, we're a staff of eight. Um, we do have a new defensive coordinator this year, Coach Allen. 
uh, will be joining or has joined our staff in January. Our previous defensive coordinator took a head job, uh, which we're really excited about that. But Coach Allen's done a great job since he's been here in January. Uh, came to us from the University of Chicago, uh, originally from San Diego. Uh, but so really excited to have him uh, lead our defense this fall. Um, our offensive coordinator, Coach Dean, has been with me for, for quite a long time. Uh, coached with me at Flathead, uh, played for me at Northern. Um, and now as our offensive coordinator coaches, our running backs and tight ends here, he does a tremendous job with his position group. Uh, Coach Slayman, uh, one of the most experienced coaches in this conference and maybe the most. Uh, he's been here at Montana Tech uh, for 28, going on 29 years. Uh, does a tremendous job with our wide receivers and also our specialist and our assistant head coach. Uh, just a guy that's, uh, you know, was here uh, with Coach Green and, and Coach Morell. I mean, I was fortunate enough to keep him around and he does a tremendous job uh, with our guys. Um, the other guy on our offensive staff, our run game coordinator, O-line coach, Coach Thatcher, uh, does a great job. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best offensive line coaches uh, in this conference, um, you know, and uh, a guy that, that truly cares and does a great job with our players. Uh, coach Anderson is a guy that's been with me for a long time, our defensive backs coach. He's also our strength coach, uh, does a great job with our DBs, and I think he's done a tremendous job with our players this summer uh, in the weight room, um, getting them ready to go this fall. Uh, coach Torgerson. As a guy that's been with us, he played here at Tech my first year when I was the offensive coordinator and then and then joined our staff. Um, a guy that started out as a, as a wide receivers coach um, and then has as just a guy that's done everything for us. He coached our nickels the last two years, and now uh, he's going to be transitioning to coaching our defensive ends, our edges. Um, a guy that does a great job, a great young coach, and I think someone that has a tremendously bright future uh, in this business. And then our newest coach, Coach Mann, um, comes from us. He was a high school coach down in Arizona. He actually, uh, we built a relationship with him through recruiting, but actually came up and worked our camp uh, two years ago. And now he's going to come up and he'll be in charge of our interior D linemen, our noses and our three techniques. Uh, but, uh, you know, once again, another uh, guy that's had high school experience. I'm a big believer in that. I think some of the best coaches in the world uh, come from the high school ranks. Um, and I've got a bunch of guys that, that do a great job that, uh, you know, a lot of them from here in Montana. Um, but, uh you know, the success that we're going to have is, you know, I've been able to surround myself, been very fortunate to surround myself with some great people. Um, I want to say a big thanks to our players and their families, uh, you know, really trying to, you know, committing to what we're trying to build and, and buying into our, our vision. Uh, you know, I've been the head coach for five years going into my fourth season. That first year we didn't have a, a season with COVID, uh, but, uh, you know, it's been awesome. We're going to have 29 seniors this fall, a bunch of guys that have been with me and our staff for the last uh, three, four, and five years. So we'll be as veteran as we've been. Uh, a lot of returning starters, uh, a lot of guys that have played a lot of football in this league. So we're excited about that. Uh, like I mentioned before, two of those guys are sitting next to me, Lander Smith and Cole Wyant. Um, you know, but very excited about this fall, excited about our team. Uh, we returned 15 starters from, from a team that had a good solid season last year. We were proud of what we did and getting to the playoffs, uh, but definitely not satisfied and excited for uh, the challenge of, uh, of another year in the Frontier Conference. Uh, we've had a great offseason. Uh, we've had the most kids that we've had in the summer uh, staying here in Butte working out with us. Um, and, I, and I really think that's going to really help us, you know, getting a jump start in the fall. We started our first practice this morning. Our guys reported a couple days ago. Uh, so we, these guys just got off the field. Uh, we had a really good day uh, in our first, you know, first day of fall camp and excited to get in the film room and, and get better tomorrow. Um, you know, like I said before, we return a lot of experience. And really excited about some newcomers and some young guys that we have coming into our program as well. Uh, but definitely need to improve. Uh, you know, we're not satisfied with where we're at. Uh, like I mentioned before, it's the best league in the country. So we got to be ready to go every single week uh, to compete against these great coaches and the great players that are in this conference. Uh, we're excited for that challenge um, and excited to continue the traditions that we have at Montana Tech uh, with these great people. Uh, we're excited for August 29th, uh, which uh, we have a big time opponent, non-conference game coming to Butte. Uh, Georgetown, Kentucky, who was a semifinal team uh, last year in the NAI playoffs. Uh, we get a great challenge right off the bat against one of the top teams in the country. Uh, it should be a ton of fun in our Copper game and, um, you know, a big challenge for us. But uh, we've always thought it's a, it's a great thing for our program to schedule tough non-conference games. Uh, we played Central Washington out there last year and had some great success against a very good Division II program. And, you know, Georgetown will be, you know, definitely one of the top uh, programs that we face this year. And uh, it'll be a heck of a challenge, but uh, we're really excited for that. Um, you know, just to talk a little bit about uh, uh, some guys coming back on our team. Um, I'll start on the defensive side of the ball. We'll return seven starters, uh, nine guys with significant playing time. Uh, the guy next to me is, is the leader, Cole Wyatt, our middle linebacker, was a first-team all-conference player last year. Really excited to have him back for his senior year. 
Um, D line wise, Trey Yates returns as a guy that played a lot of snaps for us last year. Uh, we've got a lot of depth at the linebacker position uh, with Cole here. J.R. Seawald and Tell Arthur uh, both return, uh, played a ton of snaps last year uh, in the secondary. Uh, Jaden Downs and Angel Sanchez at the corner positions are both back. Um, and then Matt Whitcomb, our nickel Sam uh, player, overhang guy. Um, he was an all-conference player uh, last year as well as Angel. I forgot to mention that Angel, our corner, was an all-conference player. Um, and then Jaden McNeil uh, is a returning starter that got hurt in the middle of the season last year. We get him back uh, for his senior year. And then Peyton Gonzer uh, was a safety uh, that played a lot of snaps when Jaden got hurt. Uh, some newcomers to watch and some young guys coming up on the defense. Uh, Zach Newton's a guy that returns from an injury that we expect some big things from on the D-line. Uh, DJ Brown is a transfer interior guy that we brought in last January. Uh, looking for a big year out of him. Wyatt DeVos is just a redshirt freshman. And Anthony Oaks, both two kids out of Great Falls that uh, could be some really good edge guys for us. Uh, we've got a, a really good transfer linebacker that we brought in um, in the January Tole Lefau. Uh, and then Kellen Beller, a kid out of Stevensville. Uh, we've got some really good depth and some, you know, be able to do some package stuff with our linebackers. Uh, Tyler Kovic is a is a freshman, redshirt freshman from Helena Capital that uh, is going to be able to help us this year at some nickel. Um, and then we've got two transfers in the secondary, Demario King and JoJo Wallace, that we feel like uh, can definitely provide some some very good play in the back end. Uh, on the offensive side of the ball, we returned eight starters. Uh, very excited about what we have back. Um, you know, uh, we've got our quarterback back. who has been a two-time all-conference player, Blake Thielen. He'll be back for his senior year. Uh, Landers, who's sitting next to me, a uh, kid that was our fullback for a couple years. And then, uh, you know, Blake Counts, a kid that we had lost last year to some injury in the middle of the season, an all-conference guy. Landers stepped in to be a tailback. And, and uh, six out of the seven games he started, ran for over 100 yards. So excited about him uh, moving into that full-time tailback role. Um, Wyatt Alexander was an All-American last year at wide receiver from Whitehall. Uh, awesome to have him back as a senior. Uh, Kyle Torgerson is a kid that missed last year because of a knee injury, was an all-conference performer two years ago in the slot, uh, also an all-conference returner, and he's back uh, looking really good uh, coming off an injury and, and is healthy and ready to roll. His brother, Levi Torgerson, is a returning starter at wide receiver, uh, one of and maybe the only guy in the conference that uh, is a two-sport uh, football and basketball player, uh, plays for our basketball team and, and was a starter for us at wide receiver last year. And then we get Dylan Snyder back, uh, a kid that transferred to us a, a year ago, uh, from Montana State that uh, got banged up a little bit last year. He'll be back. He's a Butte, local Butte kid here. Uh, returned Logan Kennedy. Logan's been a four-year starter at tight end for us. Uh, expect some great things out of him. And then uh, we've got four starters back up front, which is probably the most important thing, um, you know, having those guys up front. Max Anderson is, a, is an all-conference player that's back. Uh, Safe Benjamin has been a three-year starter. Brandon Spencer, a two-year starter at center, was the first team all-conference player last year. And then Tom Walkup is a guard uh, that's played uh, a ton of snaps in the last two years as well. Uh, some new guys, players to watch on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, you know, one guy I'm really excited about, um, you know, that doesn't get to talk a lot is our backup quarterback. Uh, you know, I feel very blessed. We've got a very deep quarterback room. Cade Wyatt is a guy that uh, – you know, I feel like uh, could play for a lot of teams in this conference. We're fortunate enough to have some great depth, uh, but excited to to continue to have Caden. And, and, and I think he's going to be a big part of what we do this year. Uh, Ethan Renner's a running back uh, coming back out of Laurel, Montana, off of an injury that we're excited about. Um, and uh, with him, uh, Christian Vetter, two young running backs that uh, are going to be a great, uh, you know, kind of a one, two, three punch with this guy sitting next to me with Landers. Um, Shannon O'Brien is, is a young old lineman uh, that's going to compete. Uh, early on, a kid from Helena High, uh, Zach Tierney, Chase Meyer, and Jacob Graves as well on the offensive front that we're really excited about. And then uh, two other receivers, uh, two Helena guys, both from Helena Capital, uh, Nick Michelotti and Parker Johnston are two guys that, that are going to provide us a ton of depth uh, and be some big-time special teams players for us. And then I think the, the the last thing is just the special teams. We return uh, a first-team All-American at Andrew Almos, a uh, kid that's been an all-conference performer for every year. He's been a punter, uh, led the country. And punting average last year with the least amount of punts. Uh, I think that's something that you take a lot of pride in. Uh, we're excited to have him back. Um, and then we do have, uh, you know, a, a definitely a kicking battle. Uh, we lost our, our starter last year who was a senior. And we have two young guys, Dylan Root and Ryder Baranowski, uh, that will compete to be our starting kicker on day one. Um, and then same thing, we've got a, a battle going on at Long Snapper uh, to see who's going to be part of that as well. Um, you know, really excited about about this fall, excited about our leadership, most importantly, and the team chemistry that we have with, with so many veterans and so many seniors. Um, 
you know, I'm excited and, and just proud to be a part of it. And we can't wait to get rolling. So I'll, I'll, I appreciate your guys' time and we'll open it up to any questions you have for myself or, or for Landers or Cole. If members of the media have questions for coach, would you raise your hand? Uh, Daniel Shepard. Yeah, um, Coach Sampson, I'm just curious what you think a, a full season from Lander Smith looks like. You mentioned, you know, the hundred yards game, hundred yard games he had, kind of in, in limited play down the stretch last year. What, what do you think a full season like from him can look like? Yeah, uh, very excited. Um, you know, he's, he's he's a different runner. He's he's tough. He runs between the tackles. He's a very hard guy to take down. He's a 225 pound kid that takes a lot of pride in what he does. But yeah, I agree. Uh, you know, we've got eleven regular season games and. Uh, we're excited to to see him go for the full year. And I think a big part of that is, um, you know, letting him go, but also being smart and, you know, knowing that it's a long season and uh, we need Landers, you know, ready to roll in the playoffs as well. But uh, yeah, we're, we're excited. And, and I know he's excited to, to kind of be the guy uh, this year coming into fall camp. Daniel, Landers, yeah. go ahead. I'm could, sorry. Sorry. Could you, could you maybe talk about that Landers, just maybe your excitement or, you know, kind of being the guy, so to speak, uh, running back wise this year for Tech. I mean, yeah, I'm super excited to uh, be the be the main main back now, and um, you know, my my success comes up from up front, comes from the O line, uh, comes from the coaching. Um, just super excited to get out there, uh, start this season off uh, with a good bang, Georgetown, Kentucky. Hopefully, pull out the win, and uh, excited to celebrate with the boys. Thank you. Any other any other follow up questions, Daniel? Uh, no, sir. Thank you. All right. Luke Shelton, you had your hand raised. Yes. And uh, yeah, guys, we chatted this morning. So I just have one question for, I guess you could, could all answer it. You know, last season, you guys returned to the postseason, established yourself as a, a playoff team once again. This season, what is it going to take to take that next step? Yeah, I'll, I'll let Cole, I'll let Cole start with that one. Just taking it one day at a time. Uh, that's just one of our focuses is improve every single day. And uh, we got goals and then goals, but it starts to win in the first game and taking it one day at a time. So during fall camp, uh, just coming closer as a team and uh, trying to improve day in and day out. And that's our main focus right now. And uh, the standard's been set uh, and we want to make the most out of this season, but it just starts with it each day. Go ahead, Landers. Yeah, I'm on top of that. I mean, uh, I think we, we became one of the most tight knit uh, teams I've ever been a part of. Um, you know, it gets better and better every year. And I think the closer we can get together, uh, I think is the more success comes with that. The closer you are as a team, the more success you will have. Yeah, I think like we talked about this morning, Luke, I think, uh, you know, we're, we're proud of what we did last year, uh, but we know it's a brand new year. Uh, this is a new team. We've got a lot of guys back, but every year is different. And so, like we've talked about, our biggest goal is, is becoming the closest knit team in the next couple of weeks with all the new guys, the freshmen, the transfers, um, and just trying to build off of that. But knowing that every year is different and we've got a heck of a challenge in front of us in week one um, and then a heck of a challenge once we get into our conference season as well. So, um, yeah, we're excited about about our program, but, uh, you know, we got to keep getting better. Thanks, guys. DJ Bauer, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, obviously an exciting time for the Frontier Conference, adding a bunch of new teams in, in the near future here. And then specifically in Southwest Montana, all three schools in that region, Carroll Tech and Western, all getting, you know, new stadium renovations this year. Um, so I talked about it with Carroll and I'll talk about it with Western whenever they come up here. But kind of want to, you know, question for all three of you guys can answer, kind of present your case for why you think the stadium renovations at Bob Greenfield are, are the best of the bunch. You know, I, I think we're just we're just excited and, and, and proud that we have a ton of support to be able to replace our turf, um, you know, and it's a, it's, it's a pretty sweet surface. It's a, it's a very safe surface. Uh, I think the design is, is pretty dang cool. It's a little different uh, than a lot of places. Uh, I think the biggest thing for us is, you know, we get tremendous support and, and obviously to be able to put a new surface down is it costs a lot of money. Um, but to me, I think it's a pride thing. And, and the biggest thing for, that we talk about is, you know, we want to honor the guys that came before us that have played here, but most importantly, it's really cool. Like, you know, with the new design, you got Bob Green's signature on the field. Uh, he's a huge part of our success in our program. He comes, you know, comes by the offices every day. And, and we want to honor those guys that came before us. And I think that's a great way to do that. And I know a lot of guys 
that have played before us and coached before us take a lot of pride in Alumni Coliseum, but more specifically in Bob Green Field. And, and so we want to we want to represent those guys the best we can. And, and we're excited about about a new surface. And, uh, you know, I don't I don't know if anything's better than anybody else. We're just we're just damn proud of, of what we have and what we represent here at Tech. And then, and then I guess for, uh, you know, Landers and Cole, if you guys want to answer, you guys got to practice on that turf for the first time um, as a team this morning. Just tell me what that experience is like. Uh, it, it was awesome uh, seeing everybody out there on the field uh, competing our, our first practice today. Um, it was pretty surreal. Everybody was having a good time. We were all flying around. Um, feels real nice to have that new turf. Uh, we all feel fast. <laughs> Yeah, just adding on to that, uh, definitely the nicest turf I've ever played on. Uh, we were really fortunate that Liberty was able to get that done for us. But uh, one of the cool designs, too, on like the bottom left, you got the light, the V. Uh, that's one thing we take a lot of pride in tech is the M behind the behind campus, light, the V. Uh, but we were really fortunate to get that turf and getting back out there for day one. There's nothing like it. So really happy and fortunate. Are there other questions for Coach Sampson and uh, his student athletes? Daniel, go ahead. Oh uh, yeah, just um, I guess for Coach Sampson or, or for Cole, um, if he wants to jump in as well. But as you kind of look on look back on last year, how do you get better run defensively? Maybe I know um, you know looking at some numbers that that might have been a shortcoming for you guys. Is, is, how do you view getting better in that position that that aspect? I guess. You bet. Yeah, that's something that's. Uh... That, that we know that we've got to improve on. And, um, you know, I think it's a couple of things. I think it's, uh, you know, just continuing to work and get better and develop uh, our players. Uh, we're really excited about Coach Allen and his his defensive scheme that he's bringing to us. Um, and, and I think that uh, we've been able to add a couple of pieces uh, that can help us personnel-wise. Um, but, yeah, that's definitely something we've got to get better at and improve on. And uh, and we're excited to do that. Uh, I, I always believe it's a, it's a people business. And, you know, how that starts, it's got to start with me as the head coach, uh, you know, improving our, our, our defense, improving our team. And uh, but when you got good players, uh, you know, it's our job just to coach them up a little bit better. And, and we got to do that. And, and I'm really excited to, to see a couple of the new guys and, and some of the, the guys that are returning, just, you know, trying to be a little bit better than we were last year. Uh, but, yeah, 100 percent. That's a that's a definitely a big focus that we've got to do in order to, to take that next step. And I'll kind of let Cole talk on that as well. Yeah, just adding on what Coach said, uh, <clears throat> Coach Allen came in. Uh, he's got a great scheme lined up, but just mentality wise too. Like we've always had a certain mentality at tech this year, especially I uh, just want to be physical and have play with maximum effort. Uh, we're going to be a defense that runs around and hits. And uh, like coach said last year, we definitely weren't good enough uh, run defense wise, but just improving every day. Uh, we got the right players and the right coaches to do it. Uh, and we're definitely focusing on that going through fall camp. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Well, Kyle, uh, I was just joshing you earlier about calling me Mr. Crawford. You can call me Mr. Crawford if you like. That's your that's your choice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this makes me feel really old. Um, appreciate you guys being with us today. Look forward to being out uh, and uh, seeing the, the improvements like DJ was bringing up. Uh, looking forward to a, a, a great season for you all. And appreciate uh, the ore diggers making time for Frontier Conference Media Day today. Awesome. Thank you, sir. And, and appreciate all you guys for being here today.